Epithelial sodium channel inhibitor Epithelial sodium channel inhibitor a sodium channel blocker located in the renal collecting duct, blocking sodium from moving from the tubular lumen into the cells, inhibiting the reabsorption of sodium and excreting sodium out of the body. It is often referred to as potassium-sparing diuretics because it also prevents the exchange of potassium for sodium, and potassium excretion is reduced. It does not exert a large diuretic effect, and it has a minimal to null effect on blood pressure. It is primarily used with thiazide diuretics to help prevent potassium loss. A thiazide diuretic can drop potassium level, hypokalemia. A thiazide diuretic inhibits reabsorption of luminal sodium in the distal convoluted tubule, and then an ENAC inhibitor inhibits the sodium from reabsorbed in potassium from excreted in the collecting duct. Comparison with antimineralocorticoid, spironolactone is a potassium-sparing diuretic that prevents the body from absorbing too much sodium and excreting too much potassium. It is a potent antimineralocorticoid, that blocks the mineralocorticoid receptor, MISTER. It inhibits the effects of mineralocorticoids, e.g. aldosterone, in the body. It promotes magnesium retention while loop and thiazide diuretics promote magnesium loss. Example, amylaride, triamterine, benzamyl. Side effects, increased urination, sodium loss, hyperkalemia, magnesium retention, kidney stones, triamterine, hyperuricemia, triamterine.